All right, welcome to a quick start to Marker Remap. Marker Remap lets you retime compositions using split layer markers in two easy steps. And we'll break this down and build it from scratch pretty quickly here. As you can see, I have one composition repeated three times, triggering various different marker segments, not only looping, but also time reversing as well. Let's see what this looks like under the hood. I'll double click on the square composition and we see we have several elements building in and one blink. The key here is to add timeline markers split around the key actions. So here in the timeline, we have a marker labeled build that spans that action and a marker named blink that spans the blink action. Let's go out and delete those and add them again. I'll come here to the setup tab and add a marker. Now by default, Marker Remap acts on the comp's timeline if nothing is selected. So we'll make sure everything is deselected and select Add Marker. We get an input box, enter marker name, and we'll call this Build. Now if I don't put any other flags and just hit Enter, a marker with a duration of one second will be created. Our comp is at 25 frames per second, so a marker of 25 frames was created here. And I can easily pull this back. Now, if I know exactly how long my marker needs to be, in this case, 21 frames, I can say build colon 21, and a marker of exactly 21 frames will be created. Let's do the same thing for blink. So here we need one that's one, two, three, four frames long. And there we go. Now that we have our comp timeline marker set, let's re-import these compositions. This was called Interaction 4, and I'm using the amazing Motion Cafe UI design pack here. And you'll notice that if you import a comp that already has timeline markers, those timeline markers will automatically show up when we import that pre-comp into another comp, and they show up as layer markers. Now all I have to do is enable retiming and extend this out to the length that I need and now the composition will play as is. Of course, nothing is retimed yet, even though enable retiming is on because our markers match the exact timing of the pre-comp. But now all we have to do is move these around and these marker segments are now retimed. This also means that we can go ahead and duplicate this and keep adjusting various timings to suit our animation. Let's go ahead and turn these blinks into loops. Marker remap behaves on marker names. So all we need to do is add a flag to the beginning of these markers to convert those segments into either loops or time reversed segments. So I'll just double click to rename and we'll add an at sign to the beginning of blink. And now that segment will continue to loop until it reaches another marker segment. So we can do that to all three of these. And now we have three blinks. We can line these up, and we can also stretch the timing of the blink segment, and the loop will respect that new timing. Lastly, let's add the build marker back in, and we can do this in one of two ways. If we already know what the name is, we can simply add a marker and type it in. Now if you noticed, it added it to the comp timeline because I didn't have anything selected. So let's undo that, select the right layer, add marker, and add the flag for time reversing. And now that comp segment has been reversed out. Alternately, we can select a layer, and if we can't remember specifically what the marker names are, or if we want an easier way to find that name, we can select extract one to current time. This will give us a list of all the markers inside that pre-comp. We'll click build, and we'll select Time Reverse, Extract. And that will automatically add the flag for us. Now we have a looping and time reversed marker segment. Let's do that one more time for one more element. Let's go ahead and grab Structure 2 
and see what that looks like. So here we have a HUD that comes in and some lines that oscillate back and forth. So let's go ahead and add another build marker to this and identify the end of that build, which seems to be about right there. We'll stretch that there. And the rest of this seems to be a pretty straightforward oscillation of these lines. So I'm going to move forward one frame, add a marker, and we'll call this lines. And we'll just extend that to the end of the comp. Great. Now let's go back to our main comp. And the first thing we want to do is enable retiming. Now we don't have any markers that came in with the comp because we added the markers after we brought this in. Well, all we need to do is use the Extract All button, and that will automatically bring in any associated markers from that pre-comp. Now, we just stretch these to match the timing of what we want in our animation. So we can build that as quickly as we need. And let's convert this into a loop. and that will just continue to loop. We can slow that down. And then easily build it out. Select, one to current time, build, time reverse, extract. Now if we're finding that these are much too long, it's easy enough to just set it to exactly what we want. We'll say add marker, build, and just set that to 20 frames. And that's it. Very easy, very stable. Lastly, we can use copy, paste, and shift to manipulate multiple markers on a layer. So if we want to shift all of these down a certain amount, we can just select a layer, place our playhead anywhere on or before the marker in question, and select either one frame or in increments of 10 frames. We can also choose to only shift the next amount. Of course, in this case, I could just drag this one marker. But assuming we had multiple markers here, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, we can click Next and only shift the next 1, 2, or X amount of markers, however many frames we wanted. We can also use the Copy and Paste functions to copy and paste entire marker sets from layers to comp timelines, or vice versa. So in this case, I'll select Copy All, Deselect, and hit Paste All, and those will be copied directly to the timeline. And it works from the timeline back to layers as well. So if I move these here and I select Copy All, Select, Paste All, those markers will be pasted across to the layers. And this simply allows you to be able to match markers between compositions and paste similar timings between layers. So imagine we had multiple markers set just the way we wanted. We can delete this, select Copy, and Paste, and now we have exact matching composition markers. And that's Marker Remap. Simple, powerful, and time-saving. Available now at aescripts.com.